This is a tabular problem, so they're giving us information in a table format, and it's giving us the height of a tree at particular moments in time. So after two years, the height of the tree is 1.5 meters, and it's telling us that the height is a twice differentiable function. All that means is that the second derivative exists, which also means the first derivative exists, which really also means that h of h is a continuous function, and it says h is measured in meters, t is in years. Now it says the first question asks us to find the best estimate for h prime. So I want the best estimate for the slope at 6. So I want to use the two time periods that are closest. So I'm going to use these points. So the best estimate for h prime of 6 is going to be h of 7 minus h of 5 over 7 minus 5. Right? This is just slope. So this is 11 minus 6 over 2, which is 5 over 2. And then your unit should be meters per year. And then your interpretation is, explain what this 6 means first. So at t equals 6 years. It's what's happening at one moment in time. And we're taking the derivative. So we want to use the word rate. And what is this talking about? Is the rate at which, talking about h, right? which the height of the tree, and since we ended up with a positive number, we're going to say is increasing by, and then just whatever you got, meters per year. There's my interpretation. Okay, part B. The height of the tree can also be modeled by the function. So they're giving us an equation for the height of the tree now. I'm going to just rewrite this. And x is the diameter of the base of the tree, and the height of the tree is also given by g. Okay, When the tree is 50 meters tall, so they're telling us when g is 50, right, g is the height, the diameter of the base of the tree, so this is your x, so this is increasing, so it's talking about the rate, this is increasing at a rate of 0.03 meters per year. So this is what's given. What they're asking us to find is the rate of change of the height of the tree. So they want the rate of change of the height with respect to time when the tree is exactly 50 meters tall. So this is the equation they're giving us. We're going to go ahead and take this derivative with respect to t. And if I do that, the derivative of g with respect to 2 is just dg dt. On the right-hand side, you have variables on the top and the bottom. So you do need to use the quotient rule. So the derivative of the top is 100. You have an x, so the derivative of the x piece is dx dt. Times the bottom minus the derivative of the bottom is dx dt times the top all over denominator squared. Okay, now let's see what pieces we can plug in. Uh, we do have dx dt. It was given to us that it is 0.03. Um, the only thing that we're missing is x, right? They told us that dx dt is 0.03. I want to know when g is equal to 50. I don't know what the x is, but I know g has to be 50. So we can figure out the corresponding x when g is 50. So if I solve this, you end up with x is exactly equal to 1. You can cross multiply, do some algebraic stuff. So if I plug in all my pieces, this is 0.03, x is 1, so this is 2, dx dt is 0.03, this will just stay 100, and then this will be 2 squared. And if you simplify this out, this all becomes 3 fourths. So this is the change in the height of the tree, so it's 3 fourths meters per year.